the most common skin cancer is basal cell carcinoma. It mainly occurs in sun-exposed areas, such as the face, the neck, the hands, and arms. If it occurs in the face, it tends to favor the upper lips. The cancer cells rarely metastasize. They favor local invasion rather than distant metastasis. The lesion itself has a central area, a border, and a surrounding area. The central area is often either ulcerated or crusted. In fact, one of the most common presentation is an ulcer region that does not heal. The borders are often rolled up, and if you want to take a biopsy, you take a biopsy from the borders. And the surrounding area tends to have some telangiectasis. Under the microscope, these cancerous lesions tend to have many functional melanocytes, which is why these lesions have varying degree of pigmentation. They mainly resemble a basal epidermal cells that extend into the dermis, forming clusters. The hallmark of these cancerous cells is palisading nuclei. The most common cause is extended exposure to ultraviolet lights, mainly from the sun. This results in DNA mutations and formation of cancerous cells. Other risk factors include radiation therapy, people with fair skin, increasing age, family history of similar cancers, the usage of immunosuppressant drugs, and exposure to arsenic. The golden standard for treatment is surgical removal. Surgical excision can often be curative. If the lesion involves the face or any area where cosmetics are very important, a certain type of surgery can be performed. This is called Mohs surgery. Whenever we're doing excision to skin cancers, we take these lesions out with some margins, about one or two centimeters. These are known as safe margins and we do them just in case that we have missed some small amount of cells here and there that we do not physically see. In the face, however, we do not have that luxury. We just want to take the tumor out without any safe margin if possible. So what we do in Mohs surgery, we basically take the lesion out and slowly start taking smaller and smaller amount of margin. We take these margins and we do a frozen section while the surgery is ongoing and we check these margins for any cancer cells. If we see any cancer cells, we extend the margin just a small bit. And we keep doing this until we see no more cancer cells in the next margin. Alternatives to excision, we can do radiotherapy, freezing therapy, photodynamic therapy, which is a combination of photosynthesizing drugs and light. We can use chemotherapy only if the other alternative options have not worked. Use the link below to get access to the full dermatology course. This includes more than 60 lectures with study notes and revision cards. You will also get access to the flashcards and MCQs. Thank you for watching.